Hey everyone, thanks for stopping in Archer's Garage, and this is another video in the series for the 24-inch Murray snowblower. Uh, but it really doesn't matter what snowblower. I've seen this with Craftsman's and everything. We're going to be looking at uh, together the chute repair that I did. Now, uh, you may already have this problem. I've actually thrown some machines out, and Craftsman's and others. You'll see it. It'll either be a plastic chute, it right, comes down over the auger, and then it's a plastic ring, and it's got some gears on it, and you turn the handle. Or it could be a metal chute that comes down and it's a plastic ring and you turn that. That breaks. And sometimes you can't get these things. And sometimes they're like $40, $50, $60 dollars when you can get them. And they may be on back order, which sometimes the back orders work. But anyway, uh, I think in this video, what I did was it, it kind of worked. And I didn't want to leave it like that. The rest of the machine came out so nice. So I took another chute. I, I grabbed some extra parts. But I think this is something I just want to show you guys this for those that are interested. It might ring some bells in your head and you might think to yourself, well, I could use a piece of metal. I could use a different kind of piece of plastic. Um, yeah, let's take a look at what I did on the repair. And th there could be still improvements on it. And I make a mention or a comment on that that I you know, probably should have trimmed a little bit more. Uh, but I think really the exercise here is, is to kind of inspire you guys, get the, you know, get the, the sauces going, you know, boiling and everything, because you may have a better idea it didn't take me long at all. I used some scrap stuff. I wound up with some extras, and I'm going to do it again when I come across it because I know I'll come across it. And maybe next time I won't throw out the machine. I throw them out for other reasons, too, and I like the parts, and sometimes the machine is too far. But if you've got a machine or you find one or somebody rolls one to the curb at the end of the season, which is often the case, or you find one on you know Facebook or something, Marketplace, and somebody's asking a hundred bucks for it or whatever, or two hundred dollars, and you're like, the shoot's broken. That's going to cost me money. Well, here's some ideas, right? Here's an idea in what I did, and also there's a few other little tips that I threw in there. It's a short video. It's probably I'm probably wasting more of your time in this intro. Let's get started. All right, so we're almost done with the machine. So is here's what I'm thinking. So as you can see, this is all cracked, right? And it's posing a problem. And so here is, this is his, it's got a little crack there because, because well, the bolt gets jammed and then you can't get it out and then probably somebody tried to do that and of course it cracked and anyway, that wasn't me, I showed you earlier, you know, so he's got this problem. This is a nice one, it's a nice thick, um, kind of, it's really nice there and then this guy, right? And she's pretty thick. So what I'm thinking of is I want to see, this is one that I had. It's a little bit newer. It gets a little thinner up here. It's weird. Um, this is a little thicker overall, uh, you know, considerably. Except for down here. It's like they made it more slender. And they didn't really do that here. So this one fits, it's a little narrower, and it fits on the inside. It also fits on the outside, too. So it's basically the same. Um, it's just been flexed or not flexed open. And this one, as you can see, it's about the same amount of throw, right? So this is the broken one. So I want to think about this because what I'm thinking is, if we use his and not this one. And again, they're really the same. Just this one has a nice handle on it, right? I'd like to give him that. Not that you need that, but it's got a nice handle. I have to stick your fingers, you know, your hand in the chute kind of to grab it. Uh, let me figure out which one I want to use. And I don't like the crack. Um, what I'm thinking of is maybe we use his bottom chute. I don't know, I want to think about it, because this is all gacked up. And we cut here, and then either we put it on the inside, because this will fit on the inside. And we line it up in such a way, and then we put the his, the bigger one, on the outside, and then that'll support it, it'll hold it together, right? Keep it from moving. So let me figure out which one I want to use. And um, you see where I'm going with this? Like his, this is like just heavier. 
gauge. And even though it's a little broken there, it's really not that bad, but it'll be held here and here. And also, if I cut this one, maybe we'll give him the better top. I can just cut it, you know, and then, like I said, if we put it on the inside, you know, cut it up to about here, we can always retrim it. But so that it comes down, and it is trying to kind of like, but we'll have to slot it a bit or something. But it'll provide some holding power, right? And then when you bolt everything in, where is it going to go? So that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, I'm over, I'm over saying it. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I got my little Craftsman uh, Dremel tool with the diamond blade, which is nice for stuff like this. Hold your ears. I'll be back in a minute. Isn't that nice? Look how quick that goes. So after playing around with it a bit, I decided to put this to the side, go a little further up on that neck, and just make this collar. And you can see, lines up here, right? I have my bolt hole back there, so I'll make them equidistant. I'll re-drill, I'll spot them. We'll pull all this in, right? Drill there. And then, it, once it's all bolted, I'll have to use like longer bolts, but it's, it's able to clear these bolts here, right? You can see in there. And that'll hold it all together. And then if I really wanted to, I could put some this on on the back uh, and for some extra but that should hold it all together for sure because now we've got some good backing so let me finish that up and see how it comes out all right so that's in there so I just kind of cut these on the angle right top and bottom so that as it's spinning one up here it just kind of well it looks nicer but on the bottom in case there's trash and whatever it's not going to cause a problem chips and little little pebbles and rocks or whatever all right so i drilled it it's in there and what i want to do now is i want to slot these to make like a screw head um i had one around here somewhere see this one's rotted but i do it here yeah right so that you can stick a screwdriver in there because they're they're shanked right where where am i hold on see and that's what breaks, right? Because you're trying to tighten it, and this is trying to turn, and it's got the flats, and of course, over here it broke it. So that's fine for the sides, but we've got a problem on the other end. All right, let me see how this lays out. So I'm gonna be using something a little bit longer, and I cut that slot in there, right, for the screwdriver. Now we can, we got a shot at tightening them up and getting them out. And, and I like that. What do you think? Right? I used the longer bolt in the back, the other ones I didn't need to. I did slot everything. It just sticks up a little bit. I probably could have made it flush, but that's all right, right? I, I like the idea of it. Um, if I wanted to, I could come back and make it flush because a little bit of snow will get stuck in here. But um, I don't think that's a big deal. All right? It gets stuck anyway. I'll come around, and there's the break, right? And now it doesn't get hung up there. And it, it seems good. It's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Listen, it's not great. It just isn't. I'm going to put a little lube on it. i got to check a few other things out. We're going to finish this thing up. Be back in a bit. So here's a common issue you see on these older Tecumsehs. Uh, these screws often just come out. The vibrations and everything just make it happen. Also, this one up here. And once in a while, the one on the side, but a lot of times the one on the side is... Is like blammo locked in because it's a hot spot it gets wet it gets oxidized in there so for these surfaces I would recommend um, a little bit of Loctite right on these screw threads get them clean put a little bit of Loctite on there screw them in and you shouldn't lose them you shouldn't have a problem all right thanks again TJ for helping out on the channel so that was TJ's machine and uh, check out the folder. There'll be a folder at some point with all the different videos on his machine. And I know he'll appreciate that you're watching me fix his machine. So let's get out of here and let's go to the outro where uh, he waves goodbye and everything. And let me introduce you to Tony and everything worked out great. And hopefully 
Hopefully we get no snow this year. Let's just hope. Or maybe we want snow. I'll see you guys later. You like the tube, the extension tube? You guys know what that is? Leave a comment. Guys, that's it. This is our buddy over here, TJ. Thank you so right? much. Thank you and so thank much. Thank you for you know for letting me do what I do and on YouTube. And we'll see you guys on well, the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Get it. Runs great.